Hey guys, what's going on? Um, so today I'm going to show you a bit of software that you'd burn to a disc. It's called Hiram's Boot Disc. I have the latest one, and it's used for system modification. And if you can't go into your hard drive, let's show you. So open up a virtual machine and load it up in that. Just bear with me while I set this up. Um, that can just stay the same. That can just stay the same. That can just stay the same. Next. Next, next, create. So when I start it, it'll hopefully prompt me here yeah, to get a new disc. So let's choose my disc. Hiram's boot CD. Next, next. Hopefully it should just load up into this now. So what I'm going to do, this is all in the main bit now. What I'm going to do is I'm going to see if I've got to try and snap the... Can I snap the areas together? No, I can't. What I'll do then is I'll just to this then, view, switch to full screen, switch, that's a bit better because you'll be able to see what's going on there. I will zoom in on this if you can't see it. <coughs> so basically you have all of these here and the ones I would say are the best are the ones that you'll probably use the first two which I'm going to show you today. First thing is going to be is DOS programs so if we get down to that it gives you a list of loads and loads of different categories for this and you have everything from resetting passwords to all the things that when you put a windows install disk can partition everything uh, stress testing but today I'll show you just the password one so if you get down to password and registry tools and enter the one you want to use for password changer is the first one Come with loads of cack here. And you just wait. As you know for this it won't it won't show anything because there isn't um Windows installed on this. Um but basically you choose one of these is quit, automatically start drivers, manually select disk drives to load and all this sort of crap. Now what you'd do is if you add it on a proper computer you'd press 2 I think it is and that'll bring you to the drive which you're going to password reset and you'd password reset where it'd come up with a thing of which one to password reset um, and that's it so if we just quit out of this why won't it quit? quit right on. let's get out of this then oh cack um, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to load this, load this back up now. Let's load it back up. Switch. Next thing I'm going to show you is the Mini XP. The Mini XP is useful for when you can't get into things on your Windows or Linux. I think I don't know if I do it for Mac, but it's used for things like that anyway. When you can't get into your hard drive by booting up into your computer. Uh, things that could cause this are invalid boot files, even just um, things like the the loading screen. It won't sometimes it won't boot up into that because it's invalid. So we start up here. Look, it comes with a little start up command thing there. Just press our okay can this, press our okay can that. And it comes up with this, and what you can do with this now it is literally a operating system this boots straight from the disk so there's no installation of anything as you probably know you can't use it as like an e as an everyday um, OS but to get all your things you press the HBCD menu and press programs and there's all of these categories look if you go into antivirus it shows all of these the one you'd probably use if you had viruses would be combo fix so I don't think this will work will it any key to continue agree and just wait for it. I don't think this will work though today because I haven't got it set right. It may just freeze like it is doing. Um should leave that one going. Let's go into programs again. So you've got all backup stuff, clone disk, ghosting, uh you've even got things like seven zip. 
uh, clean as this one's good. C cleaner, for example, could have that. I wonder if it allowed that because I've got this running. It might have, I've, I've never done two things at once. Try again. Cleaners. C cleaner. Nah. Alright then. So, you have all this. It's a virtual drive. You have these here. You can go into settings and change how it looks, for example. You can't now, but. So basically this is just really a quick video on showing you what it's like if you were to download it's totally free and I'll probably provide the link down below. But if not you can just type in Hiram's boot disk and it comes up. Um very useful disk. It also has an auto fix function where you can just run the disk on your computer, um and just leave it running for about ten minutes and it'll fix any problems without you knowing to be honest. Like I run ran it on my friend Nathan's computer. He had a problem with his uh, wireless card. Drivers weren't installed properly, saying they were the wrong ones. Put the disk in. Didn't look like it was doing anything. But then when we ejected it and turned his computer back on, his wireless was fixed. Um, speed, you can use it to speed up your operating system in general by using. Where is it? Optimizers. And with this, you'd go into registry optimizer and that would help, I think that's to delete the things that are in your registry but again it won't show up because I've got this shitty combo fix open because it, it won't find an OS so um, this is just a very quick video um, on showing you Hirons comment, rate, subscribe and goodbye